good morning to all my dear students i hope all of you are fine and safe at home and enjoying these online studies in the previous classes of physics we have learned about force its types the types of contact and non contact forces and the effects of force that was the first part of your chapter in today's class we will deal with the second part of the chapter and that is pressure we will learn about pressure in solids liquids and gases i hope all of you like the lecture so let us start now what is pressure pressure is a relation between force and area how do we define pressure pressure is defined as a thrust acting per unit area what is thrust thrust is the force acting perpendicularly now when i say perpendicular that is 90 degrees to the surface so thrust is nothing but a perpendicular compressive force acting on the surface so definition of a pressure is what the thrust acting per unit area and what will be the formula it will be force upon area where you can see that force is in the numerator and area is in the denominator that is why we say that force and pressure are directly proportional to each other what does it mean that if we increase the force pressure will decrease and if you decrease the force pressure also will decrease now force is for example 10 newton you increase it to 20 newton similarly pressure also will increase so on increasing force pressure also increases on decreasing force pressure also decreases but what about area because area is in the denominator therefore pressure and area are inversely proportional to each other if you increase area of contact the pressure will will decrease and if you decrease area the pressure will increase they both are inversely proportional to each other as you can see in this picture there are two blocks one block is having a smaller area where the pressure applied is more in this block of wood the area is larger and so the pressure applied is lesser so the pressure depends upon the area of contact if the area is less pressure will be more if the area is more pressure will be less so the two factors on which the pressure depends is area and force the if you increase force pressure increases and if you decrease force pressure also decreases but if you increase area pressure will reduce and if you reduce the area pressure will increase this is the relation between area and pressure and force and pressure now we will come to the units of pressure as you know that the unit of force is the si unit of force is newton and the unit of area is square meter so what will be the unit for pressure newton per square meter and we call this newton per square meter as pascal p a s c l pascal it is written as capital p and small a abbreviated form right and it is in the honor of the physicist blaise pascal that we have the unit of pressure as pascal how do we define one pascal when a force of one newton acts perpendicularly on an area of 1 square meter the pressure acting on the surface is equal to 1 pascal i hope you've understood the units also now we can also calculate pressure by using the formula force upon area if you are given the force or weight in this case as 100 newton and the area is given as 0.1 meter square how will you calculate pressure by dividing force and area by dividing 100 by 0.1 meter square you get 10000 pascals as the pressure in simple terms if i say the force is 100 newton and the area is 20 uh, meter square what will be the pressure you divide 100 by 20 and you get 5 pascal as the pressure similarly you can calculate area and force also area will be equal to force divided by pressure and force will be equal to pressure multiplied by area this is how we will do some num uh, numericals in the written work now these are the examples which will make it more clear that how are area and pressure related in this case you can see the shoe it is having a flat uh, bottom so the area is more and that is why these shoes will not sink in the soft surfaces or in the sand right because the area is more the pressure exerted will be less in this case because you can see the area of the heel is very small that is why they will sink in the soft uh, this ground or surface why because the area is less so the pressure also increases the second example is about the army tanks you can see that they are having a roller belts around the wheels why are they having provided with roller belts is because thus uh, this wheels are having smaller area right and army tanks are very heavy so they can sink inside the ground that is why by the roller belts the area is increased so that they do not sink inside the heavy army tanks are a lot of weight is there so what will happen 
they might sink inside the ground because of the small wheels but when we put roller belts the area increases and so the pressure is reduced the third example is about the tractors and the trailers now tractors are having two broad wheels at the back because at the back they are having a lot of weight and because they have a lot of weight the pressure also increases and if we have broad wheels the pressure can be distributed because of larger area pressure will not be at a certain point and these wheels will not sink inside the same goes for big trailers they carry automobiles on them and a heavy load at the back so they are provided with double wheels at the back in front you have for example two wheels or at the back it will be four or eight depending upon the weight so these many uh, these double wheels help to reduce the pressure because the area increases due to so many wheels right the next example is about your shoulder bags shoulder bags are provided with broad straps so that the pressure is reduced on your shoulders right if you have a very small strap the pressure can be more on the shoulders because of the smaller area understood next example is about the reverse kind now there are many other examples given in the books also about a porter carry carrying heavy loads right it, he puts a cloth on his head so that the pressure is less on the head now this is the reverse why do i say reverse because in this case we want more pressure to be applied see look at the edge of this um, blade or this knife they are very sharp and why they are very sharp because we want a lot of pressure so we reduce the area we reduce the area and the pressure increases understood in this case we have to increase the pressure in order to increase the pressure we have to reduce or decrease the area when we sharpen these cutting instruments we also make them very sharp the edges becomes very very thin and that is why the edges are thin and so the pressure increases now this ends our first topic pressure in solids the next video children will be about the pressure in liquids and gases please watch the next video also properly 